interesting that uh, Pitfold Station Road is closed at the moment. That's the road that takes you up to the, um, the old railway line, which is a natural uh, connection down towards the campus. Um, hadn't appreciated on the map that it does take you through on the other side of uh, Inchgarth Road into the Norwood Hall Hotel. Um, it doesn't look particularly like a sort of place that would encourage footfall going through it. But again, it will be subject to rights away. Just off Inchgarth Road to the north west of uh, Garth Dee is this interesting allotment compound looks uh, like it has a good relationship with the uh, surrounding community uh, some lockups there in the mid ground and uh, not something one would normally associate with universities and students but certainly uh, in terms of uh, environmentalism and food production and healthy living etc and also opportunities to actually genuinely engage with community um, could actually be an interesting one. Just see with the flashing lights up there in the distance, I think that is the road bridge over the old railway line. So um, it's maybe like they're doing work to it. And uh, so that would be the connection down from there through the hotel that I've just uh, through mentioned. This is the old uh, D side line as it comes through. Um, my car parked down there, which I think is Ivanhoe Place. There's obviously an issue of parking in the in relation to the university because there is a, an issue of um, parking permits. You notice there's always helicopters flying overhead, something I've noticed here almost constantly. Great asset to have though, this uh, railway line. So, this is it, uh, the old D side line coming up. Uh, I suppose this is uh, around Talisman Walk and uh, Morrison Drive. Um, but it just suddenly opens out. the Ashwood Red Line bus coming through. A lot of housing development work seems to be going on on this estate generally. So this is the uh, midpoint on Garthy Road, entrance to the business school in Scott Sutherland. You can see the library tower there. And again, uh, that sort of relationship to the community is right on the edge of the, uh, the road itself, parking no doubt another, uh, another aspect of it. You can certainly see the prominence potentially of the library tower and my comment before on the um, looking from the western side was wrong. I was thinking the library tower was open on all sides but obviously you've got the uh, vertical circulation where uh, the concrete is which is the bit I must have seen. Okay, so that's the end of the, um, the northern side. I'm now on Ochinal Road, bottom of, uh, just opposite the Ashvale Hotel, and uh, just come out of the uh, housing estate. And uh, there's obviously a lot of framework uh, improvements to housing going on by the council, and you can see down behind me um, the, uh, the entrance to the or the western side of the campus. Uh, just been actually um, pulled aside by a lady tapping on the car window, uh, complaining about, uh, assuming I was from the council, complaining about the lack of investment, lack of a road bridge across the river, uh, complaining about immigration, the number of foreign students, uh, you name it, um, try to sort of get her to talk positively about what might benefit the community in terms of the university. Um, seem quite intent on being negative about it. I don't know whether that's uh, in any way representative of the community, but that's just one person, probably not, hope not. Um, she did talk about the amount of trees gone out of the Garthy campus, the extent of the building that was going on there, 
being too much, but uh, it may be that what we're talking about is a lack of a, uh, a communication and marketing uh, sort of um, program that, that, that interfaces with the, the community, and that may be where the public art engagement side could come into it. Anyway, that's uh, the north side.